Today, I am super excited to talk about my update to the Divi Design Guide Pro. Now, every website needs a hero area. This is very, very important because it lets your visitors know what your website is about and what action they should take. So over here, we have a centered design and a dark background. We also have a light version here. And then further down here, we have similar to what we have at the top, but all our information is on the left. And then over here, we also have a light version and all the information is on the left as well. So let me show you how we can start using this on our own website. So over here, I have a page that I've just created. So all I have to do now to add my main hero area is to click on this plus button here, click on full width and then select full width header. Next, you want to start to add all your information here. So this is where your main title goes. So I'm just going to type here, main title goes here. We can also add a subtitle over here. You may want to replace this text with your text like that. Now, all you have to do is to come over here to the top and choose your preset. So we have quite a few to choose from. As I mentioned, we have this one here, dark with the text on the left. We also have this light one. We also have the dark with the centered text. So I'm going to go with the dark with the text on the left. So back over here, I'm gonna to go to dark and text on the left. Now notice what happens here. All our design has been updated. So I can see here I have quite a bit of text, so this is a bit too much. So what I can do is I can just go in and delete some of this text here because it's a bit too much. Okay, so now with that all set, I can go ahead now and save. And this now has become my main hero area. Now I know what you're thinking. This image here does not work with what your website is about. Well, that's not even a problem. So we can always come over here, scroll all the way down, go to your background, click on this uh, image tab, and then let's change this image. So let's say you're growing some grapes at your farm. You can just choose this image here, upload image, and notice what happens. This image is updated and all our design is still intact. So this is an easy way to have beautiful hero areas on your website. We have this design. You're probably thinking, okay, I want a lighter version because I don't want the dark version. Well, that's not a problem too. Let's go ahead here on the top, click on the drop down. And I'm going to now choose this one right here. If I select that, just like that, this has turned into a new hero area. Okay, so let's talk about the next feature. Now, this one here is also very important because it gives our sections titles. So I want to give this a single row here and let's add a bit of text. So I'm going to select my text module like that. Next, I'm going to just update this and add my own text. And I'm going to make part of this text here, the title. So let's highlight this text, set this to heading three. I have a brand new style that we can add on to our hero titles. So if I click here on this drop down, you notice that we have our section titles. I'm gonna select that. And right away, I've updated my section title. It's nice, it's clean. And you are now going to have section titles which are the same across the whole website. Pretty cool. Now let's talk about the next feature. So uh, let's add our row. So I'm gonna go with a um, single column here and let's choose blurb. So what I've added to the blurbs here is a minimal design. So if I click on this drop down, it's called blurb minimal. Let's select that and then we want to choose our icon. So I'm gonna come over here, make sure I've selected icon and then I'm just gonna go to font awesome because these are the icons I want to use. Now notice that I haven't even gone into the design tab. All I'm doing here is selecting all my icons that I need here in my designs. And right away you can see here that it is nice, it's clean, it's, it's a very, very simple design. All I have to do now is to update my text. Now let's talk about the next one. Again, this one here is a blurb, so I'm gonna choose three columns. So let's choose our blurb module here by selecting it. So this time I'm going to choose blurb number seven. And let's go ahead and add our image. So I'm gonna come over here to image and icon, click here on my image. And this is the image I'm gonna go with and then I'm gonna click upload. So look at that, this is a very clean design as well. So all I have to do is to go in and uh, update all my information. There you go, and she's the marketing director. So now I can go ahead and save. So now we can see we have our beautiful hero area here. We also have our section titles. We also have uh, this minimal blurb design. 
And we also have this one over here. Now notice what happens when I hover over it. Okay, so the DV Design Guide Pro is only $27. It's on sale right now. The link to that is in the video description below. So make sure you get it before the price goes up. So you don't have to pay for updates. So all these uh, updates that I am producing, if you've already bought it once, you are going to continue getting all these updates. So I will be producing more updates to the DV Design Guide Pro. This tool is super powerful if you want to design websites fast and professional. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.